Camp Cooking Tips, Pouch Cozy and Ziploc Freezer Bag Meal Prep. Since I've already done this one on camera as part of my tent pitch camping outdoorsy one, I'm going to do something different for this meal practice. I want to talk for a few minutes about camp food because a lot of through hiker videos, everything I've ever seen just says, just dump it into the bag and pour hot water on it and let it sit and it'll be done. And it's not quite that simple. Uh, practice at home. It's so quick to just boil water in your microwave. You don't have to use your camp stove and test how long things cook and what, how you have to prep things to cook. I found mac and cheese cooked very well. I was able to pack it into a freezer quart and put all the cheese and pasta in it and bring it on trail and then pour hot water in it, put it inside the pot cozy. For now I made this one. And I think it took 25, 30 minutes to cook. Just make sure, everyone shows you standing them this way. At some point during it, like tip it on its side and really shake it around and do that more than once or else you can end up with hard pasta, little bits in the middle areas. So make sure you're kind of shaking that around a little bit. That's my tip for mac and cheese. And it probably relates to a number of other things as well. I also mentioned in my other food nutrition video that I like to bring rice on the trail and I put pineapples with it and sweet and sour and I make a Hawaiian rice. But I didn't specify that it is instant rice. Don't go with anything that's not instant. So your Nora packs are good and success rice is good. But if you go with actual regular non-minute rice, not instant rice, you could soak it for four hours and dump boiling water on it all you want. It's not going to cook because the water does not stay hot enough long enough. So always go for the instant rice. And that way you don't have to worry about pre-soaking or anything. You can just add your boiling water. I think it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. It wasn't too bad. It cooks really well. The next lesson you can learn the hard way is you could carry this really heavy thing of gnocchi and go, I'm going to have a really good meal tonight. Large gnocchi will not cook on trail. I have tried pouring boiling water on it and putting it in here three times for 20 minutes. The outside deteriorates, the middle never cooks. Now remember, I am putting it in a bag though. So if you add it to a pot and actually boil it, you could do it. What I would suggest is instead to go with a mini gnocchi. So I'm gonna practice it. It's just boiling in the microwave. I have a few mini gnocchi in here. And I'm gonna try the tortellinis and I have a few in there. I wanna see if these need to be pre-soaked first for the bubbling to stop so it's just short of boiling and then I'm gonna pour some in with my mini gnocchi. Okay, it's in the bag and now I'm gonna put it in the cozy. So I wanna see how the tortellinis do, if I need to pre-soak them or if the just short of boiling water will work on them. I didn't have any Velcro, so I went with clothespins. It's just temporary, it'll work. So now I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then I'll come back and see how we're doing. In addition to carrying extra weight around and then getting to camp and having a really bad meal, there's also the possibility it could not cook at all or be so bad it's inedible and then you're going without dinner. So when you're testing them, just like I did, you test just a few pieces to see how it cooks. If it does cook really well, then you do your second test and do the whole bag or the whole batch and make sure it cooks in large amounts as well because it changes. And you're also learning how much water you have to add to things for them to cook. So there are a few tricks. They're pretty easy, but once you figure them out and know them, you'll be a pro on trail. While this is cooking, I just want to show you, this is one of my absolute favorite meals. No, it's not. It's, it's our fly predators. <laughs> When they hatch, we release them to get rid of flies. <laughs> Don't eat these, even if they do have protein in them. <laughs> okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna pull the tortellinis. I can't catch them. They're actually really soft. So that definitely worked on the test. They're actually a little too cooked, I think. So we'll try, but there were only three. So I'm gonna try the whole bag of those now. And now, prize number two. The gnocchi. I'm going to have to shut the camera off to see how ready they are. Okay, the taste test for both was really, really good. So now I'm going to try full bags to see how well it cooks and how much water I need. The one thing I want to make sure I do before I put them in the bag is make sure all of them are broken up or they're not going to cook. 
Okay, the water's boiling. I'm gonna wait a second for the bubbles to stop. That was about two cups of water. I didn't quite use it all. You have to put a lot of hot water in it or it won't stay hot enough to cook. So I'm gonna get it into the cozy now. If you find that your bags are leaking, your Ziploc bag leaks, it means your water's a little too hot and you're melting away the seams. So wait a couple seconds longer before pouring it in and putting it in your pot cozy to preserve your Ziploc bag. And this is another meal that because it's gnocchi, um, partway through, I'm going to tip it on its side and jiggle it a little just to make sure there's no clumping in the middle. And now we're going to wait, last time was 20 minutes, so yeah, 20 minutes. 20 minutes is done and I tasted it and it's perfect. So now I'm just gonna practice because there's extra water straining it and I'm gonna reclose this Ziploc bag except for a tiny amount. I'm gonna pretend this is my camp pot and I'm just gonna try straining out my gnocchi. Piece of cake. And that is ready for some tomato sauce or tomato paste or whatever else you wanted to put on it. Whatever seasoning you want. You can go with some Alfredo, some Nor Alfredo sauce. There you go. So I went with a crushed tomatoes with onion, which you can fit into the bag while you're heating, while you're cooking your gnocchi. It will at least heat this up. It may not be hot, but it'll be really warm. And then the temperature from your gnocchi should help warm it up the rest of the way. And now I'm gonna add an Alfredo pack just for some more flavor and calories and some calcium and protein too, right? Look at that. I'm gonna stir it up now. The other really good benefit of trying these out at home is honing in your recipes. Because instead of an Alfredo, I think the regular Norpesto would have offered this more seasoning flavor. So let's try it. We'll add in a pesto spice and see how that is. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Mmm, <laughs> pretty good. Okay, and now we're gonna try the tortellini, but we're only gonna go about 15 minutes because I want to hone in that time a little better. I do wanna say when you're first learning to do this, it is not uncommon to burn open, to melt open your Ziploc bag. So that's another reason to master the temperature at home and to know how many seconds to kind of wait with your pot of boiling water before you add it to the bag. Look at this, this expanded and filled the whole bag. I actually think it needs a little air. We'll test it. Oh my gosh, it's actually perfect. So 15 minutes for the tortellinis. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, one thing I should say, when I was testing from the bag, make sure you dig down into the center of the bag to make sure it's soft in the middle. If it's not quite done, you're gonna wanna manipulate that water around a little bit more and let it cook another minute. But this came out perfect, really fast cook, and it's so good. If I was actually on the trail, I would keep it in the Ziploc. I might strain a little of the water out, but roll the top down. I would actually tuck my sardines into the cozy to heat up along with it. And then I'd be breaking it up now, opening the lid, breaking it up, and stirring in my creamy pesto while there's still some water in it. And that way it makes a nice little mixture of yum, yummy, yum, yumminess. It's all stirred in. Actually, I didn't add any water to it and it blended perfectly just with the water that was on the tortellini. So I was able to strain it fully and have it work. And it is so good. And this is a lot of food. I mean, look at that. So when you get to the point where your hiker hunger is in and you want double dinners, this is your double dinner. <laughs> or like I said in my other video, you could split it where each hiker carries a bag of that tortellini and then you split it one night and then the other person cooks it and you split it the second night so that um, smaller portions, I don't know, it's up to you. It was not scary.